Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back from a long hiatus and I am here finally, hopefully to be able to bring you some more content at a more consistent basis. We have a Honor View 10 and not just any Honor View 10, but it is running Cosmic OS. So this is one of about one of maybe 10 ROMs or so that are out right now for the View 10. Um, this is the US variant and we can see here 8.1 Oreo, April security patch, and I do have the blue spark kernel installed on this as well. So there's two kernels also available for the View 10. So let's go ahead and get into it right away. So very stock AOSP um, ROM. There are a good amount of customizations built into the ROM here. So if we go under display, first and foremost, um, you do get the, uh, the standard display size and all that. Um, but then you also have a theme style. Um, so you do have a option to select the different theming options if you'd like. So right now I selected pixel, which then kind of gives that blue pixel color. And then we can go and select the different style for light, for example. Basically makes all the UI elements light. So now it looks very pixel-like and different colors so we could select red for example if we wanted let it just refresh and so now all the different accents are are red so then we have all the different coloring options if you'd like yellow for example and you can see there different UI accents are yellow now. Um, and then we also have a specific uh, Galaxy for additional application or different settings. So up here in the status bar, you have all the abilities, just like the uh, system UI um, editor. You can remove icons, things like that. You can change the location of where your date is. If you wanted it to be like the Android P preview, have it on the left-hand side, you could do so. You have different options of enabling, disabling the, uh, well, there's a little bug there, but uh, Galaxy logo, if you wanted it up here, as you can see, if you go back to navigation bar, you have navigation buttons to change the layout, things like that. If you wanted to, different modes, you can change the height of the, the navigation bar if you wanted. Recents, we have the different types of uh, recents, so it has a very AOSP uh, clear all versus a, a stock Android of like the pixel where you have to scroll to select to clear all up in the top right, so that's nice. We have buttons for all your volume up and down and what they do as far as like reorientating when your screen is rotated, um, things like that. Um, lock screen, you do have the ability for media art, you have option for shortcuts to change on that are on the left and right that are normally down here. You can change those at least. Fingerprint scanner works perfectly, so no issues there. And if we go back, gestures, so that would be as far as like double tapping the status bar to turn the screen off. Um, you can turn on three, uh, three fingers wipe to capture screenshots. The notifications, you have the ability um, to change some of those if you want. Notification lights. Quick settings, so you have the ability to do a quick pull down from the right hand side. For example, if you turn that on now, you can one swipe, bring all your quick toggles down if you wanted to enable that. The brightness slider, you can turn that on and off in the quick settings. And there's some other uh, options as far as Android P animations. You have built-in um, into the ROM for wake lock blocks, um, alarm blocks, and then you also have app ops, which basically permissions for every single app for a, a category. So if you wanted uh, app to not start on boot up, you can disable that. If you wanted an app to not have access to your location, you can turn that off per app basis. So that's a nice uh, touch built into the app, built into this the ROM actually. Um, so far, there's this is the initial release, so it's more of like a preview. Um, I'm sure they'll be adding more functionality, fixing bugs, optimizations later on as a release. Um, but overall, this is very, very snappy. I'm very pleased uh, with it so far. They have a Cosmic OS um, app, so that way you can see any uh, 
ROM updates and probably change logs and things like that. But overall, everything is quite well. GPS, Wi-Fi is all working. We have the default camera app. Um, at the moment, there's no uh, built-in EMUI camera capabilities. You'll probably be able to get a pixel, a modded pixel camera app to get all the portrait effects, um, lens blur, and things like that. But we can see it's recognizing the megapixel. And um, you're not going to get all the nice uh, EMUI on or Huawei type optimizations that are in the camera. Um, but that's one of the sacrifices that you will have to make. But um, you can definitely root the device with Magisk Manager. I don't have it at the moment because I found the device uh, on pretty much any ROM that I use. Uh, the phone pretty much reboots and goes into an e-recovery state, which is really strange. Um, but once I uninstall root, um, all issues are resolved. Um, so yeah, so no real big bug issues. This is the, uh, the Pixel Launcher. As you can see, fingerprint scanner, there's no face unlock or anything like that, at least at this point. Maybe in the future they'll be able to implement it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below, in which hopefully this video was very helpful to you. Thank you everyone for your support and being patient um, in my, my channel. Hopefully I'll get in the swing of things. Thank you to the awesome developers for Cosmic OS and bringing this awesome ROM to the Honor View 10. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.